Guys, I'm on a mission to recreate all of Subway Surfers and make it realistic. In this series, we've done Minecraft, we've made Fortnite realistic way too many times, and now it's time for arguably the most popular mobile game, Subway Surfers. And I have to be finished in three days because it's a special day. And of course, we'll be doing this only using CGI. Oh my God. New five gum. Stimulate your senses. Wow! Since Subway Surfers is a mobile game and has to be ran on one of these, the models kind of look straight out of Wii Sports. So that's why on day one, I decided to completely revamp these characters to look more realistic using Blender. So I first smoothed the characters out using a subdivision service modifier. And the textures were also about five pixels. So I ran those through an AI to upscale the quality, which really helped the subway surface text on the back. Like that is way better. <laughs> then I also added some fabric texture to the clothing. And yes, I also painted some skin texture on the face, which definitely goes down as the top 10 dumbest things I've ever done. And then I just copy and pasted all of that onto to Mr. Paul Blart. And now that they look more realistic, that means they can be animated. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> I don't know what that was, but yeah. hey, I think the characters turned out pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think. So next on the checklist was to start building my own Subway Surfers level. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite Subway Surfer maps are the one with the railroads going through a city. So I'm definitely going to recreate that, but I need my own twist. Heads I add snow, tails it's drier than California. So I hopped into Blender and started to build my own snowy map. With these kind of things, you should definitely build a reference using real images and then base it off of that. But when you have just three days, I don't know, I was just freestyling the whole map. I had a rough idea. I wanted three railroads, buildings on the side. So uh, basically every subway service map. <laughs> I'm blocking you. And I don't know how I managed to do it, but it was actually looking pretty sick at the end of day one. So on day two, I legit spent all day finishing up the level and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I would have really have liked to like liven the city up a little bit with some people walking, but I, um, um, I spent all day placing this freaking snow, bro. Whose idea was it to add this snow, man? I, dude, uh, you may. let me tell you what, I don't ever want to see snow again, dude. All day placing snow. Whose idea? You're looking at it. You're looking at it. <laughs> and since day two was over, I, I kind of started to get a little bit worried. I only had one day left till Christmas, and I haven't even added the part that actually makes the subway surfers. Bruh. Hey, but we got a sick map, though. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a super long day, so I instantly got to work. It's finally time to add our custom Subway Surface character into the level, so I downloaded all the preset character animations from Miximo because I legit have no time. We got the running animation, jump, slide, and the start animation when Mr. Police Guy sees him. Oh, and remember that time when I made the map? <laughs> yeah, I was missing something. The obstacles that this little bro is dodging. I mean, tell me how I could fumble so hard until this point. So I set up a whole wipeout course with some coins to collect. And after three days of basically creating a digital paperweight, I actually made him run through the map. And I'm not going to lie. When I added this, it was so satisfying. I realized that it was, it was actually pretty cool. And, and placing that snow, you know, it wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah. And although this seemed really fast, this took so many hours. And I'm just hyped that I was able to finish in time. So guys, after 15 hours of rendering 1,100 frames. Here's 4K Subway Surfers with RTX on. Enjoy. And then for fun, I also made a first person version. I think these all turned out so sick. Let me know what you guys think about them down below. But that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.